All right, so today I want to walk through something I set up inside of the dev tools in Chrome or Brave here. So I was thinking the other day, I have that little command line generator that can generate commands over the command line using OpenAI. Well, why don't I have something like that inside of the dev tools? After all, if I'm typing out JavaScript commands, it might be nice to get some help. For example, I could do something like show me something. And then when I invoke a shortcut key here, Everything is selected, it's copied, along with a prompt, it's then sent off to OpenAI, a response comes back. So basically I'm using ChatGPT to come up with some sort of command to run. I'm telling it, come up with some JavaScript that can be executed. And so that's exactly what is done here. For whatever reason, it decided that the response to show me something will be console.log and Brave Beta Browser. And that's probably because actually in that system prompt, I do tell it what my browser is. And so that's where it's coming up with that part. And of course, then I could just run that not too exciting, but let's say we want to do something else here. Let's say we want to make the background of the page red. Hit my button again, give it a second here, get some code back, cross my fingers and just run it and see what happens. And there you go, it's changed the background color of the page. All right, so I'll refresh just to fix that here. So those are definitely trivial examples. So why don't we take a look at something a bit more complicated. Let's say, for example, I'm looking at the page here and I've got this little search box up above, and I might like a keyboard shortcut to be bound to put the focus on this text box here to be able to type something in. So if I've inspected this and I get a reference to the element over here, maybe I wanna grab one of the attributes here and copy this, and then come back over to the console here, do something like find this. So I've just pasted in the attribute that I copied, hit my button again, copies it, sends it out, get something back, and you can see right here, this already matches an element. So that is the search text box. And so now let's say I wanna do something even more complicated. Now let's say I wanna take this element, make me a keyboard shortcut, control, control shift and S to then focus on this element. So I'm hoping it comes up with something here. Oops, actually ran that, let me clear that. Hit my button again. All right, so let's just blindly run this and see what happens over in the browser here. If I set the focus to the page, control shift S, there you go. It's focused the input and I can now search. And so now maybe I wanna copy this code here and put it into Tamper Monkey to always have it available. Either way, it's interesting to be able to use English-like phrases to be able to ask for something, to find something or to modify something in the browser and then just throw that off to OpenAI and get a response back so I don't have to type out everything myself. And so I think there are two benefits to doing this. First off, there's a lot of times where I don't wanna to have to just type everything out. For example, I wouldn't wanna to have to type all of this here just to make a keyboard shortcut and test what it feels like. The other way this can be beneficial is if there's something that I wanna do in the moment and I don't really care to learn how to do it, then just deferring to OpenAI to basically search for me and summarize what it finds and just give me some sort of command that's relevant to my context, that is also incredibly valuable. All right, maybe one more thing here. So just a cool thing to find on the page to showcase using OpenAI to write commands for DevTools console. So just a summary of basically what this tool does. Hit my shortcut, get something back. All right, so that's interesting. It thinks that it's interesting to query the images. Maybe we can change this here to get me the URLs. See what this can do. There you go. There's the URLs to the two images on this page. All right, so that's a high level overview of what this does. Basically, you can type anything in at the console here, have it sent out, get help back for it. So there's a lot of things that you might have to type out by hand that could be a pain to do. Well, this could be definitely something to help out. And then if you're wondering how this works, well, in this particular case, I just set up a keyboard maestro macro, just selects everything, copies it to the clipboard. And then I've got a little script here that invokes a Python script to just basically take whatever is copied send it off with a prompt, and then get a response back. And if you wanna see that prompt here, here's the prompt I'm using to instruct it to be a Chrome DevTools expert, explaining that the user is in the console in the Brave Beta browser. The user needs help completing a JavaScript command. Whatever they've typed into the command line will be provided. They might also have a free form question on the end. If you noticed in one of the cases, I added a comment on the end, and then I asked it to make further changes for the keyboard shortcut. So that's a nice way to be able to provide context. If I type out a command, for example, and that part of the command works, I just need some sort of a change to that command. I've had good luck doing that with OpenAI in other contexts, so I just ported that over to JavaScript as well. All right, so I wanted to respond with a single valid JavaScript command line. 
that command will then replace whatever I've typed in, and then the user can review and they can execute it. And of course, I don't want any sort of explanations, no markdown, especially no backticks. And then last up here, I give a simple example. If the user types find the first div on the page, a valid response would be document.querySelector of div. So I then pass that off with the pass context would be whatever I've typed in the dev tools. I then get back a response here and essentially I just take that response and I print it out to the output so I can then grab it and paste it right into the browser right over the top of whatever I've typed in here. If you're interested in this script, this is out my dot files repo on GitHub. Take a look at that. And then of course there's the keyboard maestro macro. I haven't shared this yet. I'll try to find a way to share these probably via the dot files as well. So keep an eye out for that. And then let me know in the comments, what do you think of this? Is it dumb? Is it a waste of time? Or is it something that you think you might actually be able to use that might be helpful to have so you don't have to type everything out and you don't have to remember how to do everything when it comes to working in the dev tools?